Is this the ultimate big game hunting load? Watch the video to find out. Gavin Gay here from ultimatereloader.com. I'm back with Travis Fox. Travis, thank you for joining me again. Thanks for having me, Gavin. Had and a great thank you, time. Thank you for doing most of the work. Oh, it was <laughs> my pleasure, believe me. This is my first time doing the 6.5 PRC cartridge and uh, I really enjoyed it. Awesome, yeah, we got a lot to cover. Quick note, don't we look good? Oh, we look so good. We look good and you can look good too. Ultimate Reloader shirts. Both of these styles are in stock at the Ultimate Reloader store. Okay, with that out of the way, let's talk about what we're gonna cover in this video. Yep. We took N565 from Vidvori. We took the Burger 156 grain Elite Hunter bullets. I've already got a tested story on that that you're gonna wanna check out and we'll summarize data a little bit later from that previous story. We've got two rifles, my full custom Carbon Hunter and 6.5 PRC, and we've got the Bergara HMR Wilderness from the B14 series, also in 6.5 PRC. What I like about this combination is we've got something that's a very reasonably priced package for the big game hunter, and then we've got something that's really lightweight that's gonna be a lot more expensive, but you know, if you've got the money, it's Pretty compelling. This is the way you're going to want to go for hunting. <laughs> yeah, so what we're going to talk about is kind of a quick backgrounder on 6.5 PRC. We're going to talk about the load development process, some of the groups that were observed, of course the velocities. We're using this N565 powder which is a great magnum burn rate powder and that 156 Elite Hunter bullet it's got a lot of potential, right? It is a nice flying bullet. Kind of heaviest in class, high BC. We're gonna talk about what performance you can expect to get from a hunting load from this awesome combination of rifle and cartridge. So let's talk about 6.5 PRC. For those of you that aren't familiar with this cartridge, let's use something like 308 Winchester as a comparison, right? 308 Winchester defined the magazine length for the AR-10 platform, 2.8 inches. And there's been a lot of really exciting variants recently like the 6.5 Creedmoor, right? Same 2.8 inch cartridge overall length, friendly with a short action rifle, and the same case rim, bolt face, shell holders, shell plates on the rifle side and on the reloading side. Probably the most popular long range cartridge currently and for good reasons. Yes. I've taken a Black Bear with 6.5 Creedmoor, stopped it in its tracks. So it's also a great hunting cartridge, but sometimes people want something a little bit more. Well, for those people, we have the 6.5 PRC. <laughs> and it is gonna be a great cartridge for North American game. Mm -hmm. It's got a flat trajectory, it's got a great point blank range, good energy down range, it's gonna be a great cartridge to take to the range, go to an NRL Hunter class. Uh, you can shoot it all day on the range. It's not gonna beat you up like the Magnums will. Speaking of beating you up, if you have an ultra lightweight rifle, these things are becoming a lot more popular and for good reason. It's gonna help mitigate the kind of concussive recoil that you get from like a 300 Win Mag in a similar weight range. Plus it's got the short action, right? Faster cycling bolt. There's a lot, lot to like here. Definitely, I really enjoyed it. This was, that cartridge was great to shoot in both this Bergara in the heavy XLR chassis mm -hmm. or the Carbon Hunter chassis. Okay, so let's walk through the data and the scenarios step by step. So this story is really about this magical combination of components. We've got Vitivori N565 Magnum Powder and we've got the Burger 156 grain Elite Hunters. You guys have asked for this story, here we are. Why don't we start with the bullets, talk about these great bullets. First. They're very impressive bullets. They have match grade consistency. They're the heavy in class for the, the 6.5 bullet. Mm -hmm. They are, you know, they have the hybrid ogive, which is going to allow you to seat them. They're not so sensitive to the seating, so they're for, very forgiving. They have a high BC. It's a 6.79 on the G1 and mm -hmm. 3.47 on the G7. It's got the J4 precision jacket on it for the hunting, hunting bullet style. It's going to end up uh, performing very well in all these long range conditions, I believe. Yeah, and actually borrowing from the tested story that I did, uh, we'll link to that in the video description as well. And I'm looking at the di diameter consistency here. We've got a standard deviation on diameter of one ten thousandth of an inch, and we've got an extreme spread of three ten thousandths of an inch. So 
overall here, what you're seeing is the consistency of the top class match bullets, but with a true hunting design, right? Like a lot of guys are talking about, can I use this match bullet for hunting? Can I use that match bullet for hunting? Well here, you don't, even have to make that compromise yeah. or raise that question because it's designed as a proper hunting bullet. Yeah, they're high quality. We tested them in the lab and they came out shining. Yeah, really, really good stuff. And then the Vitivori N565 is gonna be right there in that sweet spot burn range between 560 and 570, hence the N565, and a numbering scheme that actually makes sense. <laughs> yeah, imagine that. Yep, so it's gonna sit alongside powders like H1000 and Rotumbo, which if you load for Magnums, you're, you're used to. Yep. So that's the components. Next, we're gonna walk through the load development, talk about performance, and then conclude with what we think about these bullets in this combo. So every time you go into load development, you have a set of parameters and you have a set of goals. You don't wanna boil the ocean. You wanna focus on some specific things and what were those things for you? What were your goals? So the specific, the specific thing that I wanted, mm -hmm. I want a first round hit on a hunting rifle. Mm -hmm. So I wanna take this hunting bullet here that we have, and I wanna make it so that it gets on target Impact. on that first shot. Mm -hmm. So I wanna have a load that is accurate, has mm -hmm. a low SD, and it has a velocity that I want so that I know that it's gonna get to the, the target do the damage that you need it to exactly. do. Exactly, it's gonna carry yep. that energy downrange. It's gonna be where I need it to be. Yep. And this is an interesting thing about hunting load development for long range, I think, is in talking with bullet manufacturers, there's a certain velocity where if you go below that velocity, the expansion becomes less reliable and the bullet becomes less effective. So this is where the 6.5 PRC is compelling. If you get a couple hundred extra feet per second at whatever distance, that can be what's gonna make the difference. Yep, I was happy with what we got. We were getting, the Bergara was getting us uh, right around 2,900 mm -hmm. feet per second in velocity. The Carbon Hunter was getting 28 and a half. So mm -hmm. those are very acceptable. Yeah, and so what did you do? How about loads? Where did you start and stop with the loads? I started at 56 grains, okay. and we went in half grain increments due to a Magnum cartridge. Yeah. We went all the way up to 56. When I hit 56 grains, mm -hmm. we had very nice groupings, mm -hmm. uh, especially with the Bergara. Yep. And the velocity was right where we needed it to be. I did notice with the Carbon Hunter yep. that as the day went on, it was warm out. We were doing five shot strings, five shots with this rifle, then five shots with this. The barrel wasn't cooling down all the way. I was getting some vertical stringing due to mm -hmm. that lightweight barrel. Yeah, so carbon it, walks a yeah. little bit. I mean, every carbon barrel is gonna have that to an extent. And we saw some pretty high heat with this rifle and yeah, some vertical stringing. Yep. But when the barrel is cool, first round hits, mm -hmm. no problem. And I validated that. When I built this rifle, I did some testing and I was shooting in the winter and the snow. I was waiting a long time between each shot, maybe 10 minutes between each shot. And suppressed, I got sub half MOA performance at you know 100 yards I was shooting at that day yeah. by doing that. So as a hunting rifle, I think this is great, but we didn't see something that you'd wanna shoot in a PRS match. No, yeah, no. <laughs> The Bergara was great for mm -hmm. stringing, string, sh you know, long strings of shooting. Yep. Uh, the Carbon Hunter, it's a great hunting rifle. So the Bergara got the best group. What was the, the best group? 0.457. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For so hunting ammo, that is super good, yeah. right? Sub half MOA, yeah. again. Yeah, I'm very happy with that. Did you see any signs of pressure? No, none. Okay. Not at all. Everything was perfectly fine on that. And, and you, we were, you were below still a couple them. grains below, were yeah. you, Max? Below Max, okay. yes. So I think this load looks awesome. You've got a good SD, you've got good accuracy, and even with the Carbon Hunter, knowing that you're shooting with a cold bore, we saw predictability with yep. point of impact. Yep. So what do you think? Is this a cartridge that you'd want to take hunting? <laughs> I definitely would. I'd be, I'd be happy taking mm -hmm. this, yeah. I'd, and I'd feel very confident in shooting this cartridge. Mm -hmm. So what would you want to shoot this in? Tell me about the rifle that you would want. For, for that kind of a hunting scenario? Uh, if I'm hiking around, mm -hmm. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take this with me. Because mm -hmm. uh, you, could, you could pretty much carry this rifle around with you all day long. Mm -hmm. um, if I was sitting somewhere on an open prairie, if I was gonna go to Africa or something, I don't know, Bergara would be pretty good. 
Yeah, so kind of your goals for your hunting rifle are gonna really depend on where you're hunting and obviously what you're hunting. Yeah, definitely. But the PRC should take down big game. You know, this has got great long range performance. We were ringing steel with it. You had successive three round hits with both rifles at 700 yards. Why don't yeah. we show a little bit of that? Could have been a touch low, I don't know. There we go. Touch more elevation. Nice. <laughs> that takes me smile. Yeah, one more. One more? Let's do one more. Okay. Twist my arm. <laughs> this is all day long, dude. My turn. <laughs> okay, still here. You know what I loved when we were shooting steel? Is to see your like, yeah, <laughs> when you made the hit. That was a, that's a tough hill because you cannot see your misses. There's no dirt splash right now. We've yep. got moist soil, we've got grass all the way around the target. That's a tough one. Yeah, you gotta drive that rifle correctly <laughs> and and you gotta watch those those hits so yeah and the good thing about PRC is you get that little extra oomph right it's yeah. got a really loud sound when yeah. that ste when steel that's hit. you know you got it <laughs> yeah. so we had a lot of fun with this uh, this is really just initial load development right it would be interesting to push the velocity a little bit further there's other parameters that we could play with but really uh, in either rifle uh, Let's say with the Carbon Hunter, we've got sub half MOA performance, given that we're on a cold bore in terms of successive cold bore shots, and we're pushing almost 3,000 feet per second. We've got a very heavy bullet for this caliber. What more could you want? I don't know. I'd take it. <laughs> yeah. I'd be happy with it. You're going to get uh, good energy downrange. It's going to deliver the package where it needs to be. Yeah. But what we want to know is, what do you think? Are you hunting with 6.5 PRC? Tell us what you're loading. Tell us what you're shooting. Tell us what animal you hope to take with it and tell us what rifle you're shooting. We would love to get your feedback. Drop a comment. Thank you, Travis, for right. doing the heavy lifting for this story. I'm looking forward to shooting these rifles with this load. It's been fun. Thanks, Gavin. It's been a good time. All right, that concludes this video and that means it's time to wrap it up. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, make your voice heard. If you have something to say, please drop a comment. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications because you're not gonna wanna miss the awesome content that is coming up. And finally, flex your reloading pride. You could look great in one of these t-shirts. We've got multiple designs at the Ultimate Reloader store. I'll see you later because I'm off to go shooting.